A positive image to capture on where you're just starting out can be complicated, but I got you. So, the first thing I'm going to do if you want to import image to capture one is to create a session. So, just come to your file right here and create new session right here. So, you can rename your session anything you want. I'm going to rename this session silence and also you have to choose the location where you want to open this new session you are about to create so for me i saved my on my laptop but you can save it to your hard drive if you want so just click on this location right here click here and click on this pc and from here you can choose to select any place you want your new session to be saved into so this is where i save all my capture one sessions right here so you can see right here i have all my capture one sessions right here but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to save it inside my hard drive. So you can see that it's possible to save inside your hard drive. So I'm going to click here right here and click on select folder. And after that, I'm going to click on OK. So once this new session open, you can see the session is empty. And if I just come to my laptop right now, click on my disk PC, just come to my hard drive right here. Click on it. So you can see this is the one I just created. This thinness visual right here is the one I just created. And right here we have our capture folder we have our output we have our select we have our trash and if i come back to my capture one you can see if i just come to library right here we have our capture folder we have our select folder we have our output we have our trash so there are multiple ways you can actually import pictures into capture one so the first way is to come to this import right here so if i just click on this import so once this place open right here i'm going to come to this place right here click on this import from so i'm going to click on choose folder and I'm gonna click on choose right here. So for me, I can just locate where the image I want to import to capture one is. So for this tutorial, I just come, come to my download and just let's import this image right here. I don't want to import those client image. So let's just import this image right here for this tutorial and just click on review for import. So after that, I'm gonna select it and just click on import. And not just one image, you can select multiple image for import. So just click here click on choose again and right here from here you can select multiple images so let's select this one as well let's select this one as well and this one as well and click on review for import so if i just click on this image right here this image right here this image right here this image right here and click on import three images it's just going to import inside of capture one so right now those three images will be imported inside of capture one so that's one way to import image inside of Capture One. But is this the method I use? No, this is not the method I use to import image inside of Capture One. Let me show you the method I use to import image to Capture One. So the method I use, instead of coming to this import right here and just looking for the folder and select it, what I usually do, I'll just come to my file, come to my this PC, and just locate the file which I want to import. So let me just click here right here. So let's say I want to import these three files into Capture One. All I have to do is come to my this pc and look for where the file is so once i select the files which i want to import it doesn't matter how many they are so let me just import this three but you can import multiple so once i select those files i can just click your ctrl c to copy and just locate where the capture one session is so this is the capture one session is also inside my hard drive so this is where i save the session i'm going to open that session and just click on capture right here open the capture folder and just paste the image which i want to import like that i'm just going to import inside of capture one so right now we can see we have six images right here so if i just come back to capture one those images i imported are going to be here so if i just come to my capture folder right now those images which are imported from there is going to open the capture one so this is one of the image and this is another one and this is the last one so this is the way i'll address you to import image inside of capture one if this video was helpful to you make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and actually learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative